Okay, folks, here we are with our new project called Photo Edges. Oops. And we're going to change the unit of measure to inches. 8.5 by 11. 72 is fine. Transparent is your background and create. So I'm going to file, open in place, go with my Galapagos turtle, and I'm going to hold down my shift key and drag a corner to make it a little bit smaller. Hold the checkbox. So First, I notice over here that it is a smart object. So it has this little um, square at the bottom of the thumbnail in the layers palette. So first thing I'm going to do is layer rasterize. So then I'm going to go to my rectangular marquee and I'm going to make a border equidistant inside the image. I'm going to select inverse, go to my quick mask, and it should turn red inside. If it turns red on the outside, that means you didn't select inverse. So then I'm going to go to filter, distort, and ripple. And again, you can play with your um, options that come up. I kind of like the way that looks, so I'm going to say OK. And so it looks like that. I'm going to turn off my quick mask, which gives me just marching ants. And then from there, I'm going to edit clear and then control V to get rid of my marching ants. So there's my little dude. So now I'm I might rotate him a little bit. So I'm going to edit, pre transform, and rotate him. Click the checkbox. So there he is. So now I'm going to do the same for another one. File. Oops, open in place, and my Japanese tea ceremony. Hold down my shift key, drag a corner, click the checkbox. Again, it is a smart object, so I need to get rid of that little square layer. Rasterize, square is gone. So now I'm going to make my border inside the edges. Select inverse and click on the smart uh, the layer mask. Sorry, quick mask, and then filter um, distort. I'm gonna try wave. Okay, so in essence that could work, but I don't like the fact that it's it goes outside the edge. So if you're okay with that, then you can do it. I'm not gonna. I don't want to do that. So filter, distort. I guess we don't have a ton of options. So I guess ripple is my go-to. Um, I think Photoshop has a few more filters, filter options. So again, here are my marching ants. I'm going to go to edit, clear. And there they are. Remove them. I'm going to rotate them. I'm a big rotating fan. So I'm going to get it a little. So once you get your 20 images on here, you're going to add a color in your background. Um, you can choose any color you'd like or you can pull one actually out of your um, image. I think I might do that. So you, by pulling it out of the image, you're gonna use the eyedropper and it drops down into your color swatches and then you can use your paint bucket, which is under the gradient tool to fill that in. 